2020 began with a trip to the Rocky Mountains of Colorado. That big white area is the Dillon Reservoir covered in snow. The night we drove up the pass to get to Copper Mountain, they actually closed the pass right after we made it through. The fresh powder was heavenly, especially since most of us had never skied out west before. February, we talked a lot about our future travel plans and what was next for us when our lease was up in August. We were strongly considering selling it all and moving to Europe. February was also my first ever multi-pitch trad climb up the Great Arch here in Stone Mountain, North Carolina, led by my friend Robert. In the beginning of March, we went to Florida for our cousin's bachelor and bachelorette weekends and their wedding. We visited Miami and had a blast. This was just before the US began to shut down in response to the coronavirus. In April, we really only left the house to get groceries and exercise outside, which we're so thankful we were allowed to do. The extra time at home was spent editing old videos, writing blogs, and ramping up the YouTube channel. We're Jenna and Jeremy. Welcome back to our channel. A place for travel, fun, and beautiful destinations. Now don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications to tune in to our weekly videos. You can find us on Instagram at Quench Your Adventure. Now on to the goose. In May, with some restrictions lifting, we got the idea to partially convert the van and take some road trips to spend some more time outside. Many of our travels in 2020 were only made possible because we were working remotely for the time being. In June, we got this sweet $20 inflatable raft from Walmart and had what we called the worst rafting trip ever here in Waynesville, North Carolina. We spent as much time as possible exploring the great outdoors here in North Carolina and Tennessee. In July, we hit 10,000 followers on Instagram. We also got to spend a week in a lake house my family rented here on Kingsley Lake in Florida. We also made some Quench Your Adventure shirts and then packed the van to embark on our longest trip ever. We basically drove the entire length of the Appalachian Trail through Virginia, a sliver of West Virginia, Maryland, Pennsylvania, New York, Vermont, 
New Hampshire, all the way up to Mount Katahdin in Maine. We began August exploring the beautiful Acadia National Park. We then made our way to Highland Mountain Bike Park in New Hampshire. Here's my friend Daryl riding the dirt jumps. Unfortunately, I wrecked and snapped my collarbone. On our way home, we began heavily researching RVs and decided we were going to move into one. We actually sent the communication to not renew our lease before even making an offer on an RV. This means we had one month to find an RV, sell and donate nearly everything, and to move out. We did it. On September 3rd, we hit the road in our home on wheels headed for South Dakota. What an adventure. South Dakota is full of wild places and we're thankful we were able to experience many of them. Our adventure continued into Wyoming, which totally blew us away. We also got to see a small piece of Idaho and hope to return someday. In the first couple weeks of October, we were back in Wyoming to explore Yellowstone and the Grand Tetons. friend Ted came out to spend some time with us. Unfortunately, for work reasons, we had to head east back to North Carolina. November was filled primarily with RV renovations. We painted the cabinets, reupholstered the dinette seat cushions, and most importantly, hired a very talented friend to help us install a 400 watt solar system on the RV. December was spent in Florida, spending time with family and exploring the insane collection of freshwater springs here, the largest collection in the world, actually. I was having a great day on my bike here in Ocala, but I pushed it a little too far and ended up fracturing my ankle. I hated that I was taking up some space at the doctor's offices with everything that's going on right now, but I'll be back hopefully a little bit smarter and a little safer. As full-time RVers, breaking your ankle is not that convenient, but thankfully Jenna is a saint, was a great caretaker, and we also got to stay with her family for a while, which we're extremely grateful for.
that's a wrap folks our 2020 year in review what a year it was we are so thankful for all these experiences we hope you all had a great year and have a much better 2021 with that thanks for watching please don't forget to hit that like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications for weekly travel videos